Wow, Bobby. Nothing like a good let's play to get the blood pumping in the morning. Whoa! Hey, Bobby! We got mail! Yay. Although, why'd they deliver it inside the house? Alright, let's see what's inside this mystical house box. What's up, Ultramag64 here, and I am proud to bring you guys the Daring Do Collection by AK Yearling and GM Burrow. Now, as you guys know, I am a huge Daring Do fan. I love me some Daring Do, and so the instant I saw this, I had to pick it up. So let's take a look at the box itself. This is a nice treasure chest. It's really sturdy, really nice, holds all the books very well, and it's very, it's not like this cheap little thing. It is a sturdy piece of cardboard, and it is awesome. So on the back, we actually get a nice little brief description of what's inside the box. Three books and an exclusive figure. In my opinion, that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and open it up. So first thing you're going to see are those wonderful, wonderful books by A.K. Yearling, A.K. J.M. Burrow. Yes, G.M. Burrow actually wrote these books, but she put A.K. Yearling on the front of them, which in my opinion is awesome. It's very nice attention to detail, and I love them. So, moving on to the books themselves, they actually have this nice textured feel to them. All the artwork is in full color on the covers, and they're all original, unlike G.M. Burrow's previous chapter books, which just use stock vectors and whatnot. These actually have nice artwork on them, and they look really nice. Then we get that figure, which is in a replica case of the book that she uses in Daring Don't. And that's about it in the chest itself. So let's move on to that wonderful figure. Here we have Daring Do herself. It is a blind bag repaint, and it's not really gold. It's more of a uh, goldish yellow, kind of. It doesn't sparkle or anything like that. It's just a figure. And in my opinion, this is actually better than the original blind bag figure with all the paints and stuff because you get a lot of those um, details that actually don't show up when you are painted and have all these different paint colors going on. Um, I feel like just one solid color actually does the figure better because it shows off a lot of those molded in details that you would miss if they were all colored and whatnot. And I just love it. It looks really nice. It's really adorable and I can't wait to display it on my shelves. So, first up we have Daring Do and the Mark of Thief of Maripone. I hope I'm saying that right. Maripor, I think, is actually the right term. But this artwork is awesome looking. It really sends home the Daring Do feel of, from the show, and I just can't wait to read it. And again, we have that AK Yearling on it. Then turning to the back, we have three missing relics, two mystery stallions, one fearless pegasus, and a brief description of what all is going to be happening in this wonderful Daring Do book. And I cannot wait to crack it open. Can Daring Do catch the thief and save the villages before it's too late? Well, I can't wait to find out personally. So opening the book up, we actually get a nice, fully colored, original Daring Do drawing, which I love. Then we get nice title cards of the Mark Thief of Maripur. And then we get a GM Bro staple which is a dedication page she puts these in all her chapter books and i actually love it because it's really really sweet um, that she dedicates all her books to someone who has affected her in her life in some way shape or form then we move on to the chapters in this book now this book actually has 15 chapters which is awesome i love me a nice big chapter book and then moving on to the back we actually get a interesting little section we get field notes and sketches which bring me back to the end NES and N64 instruction booklet days of yore, which makes me very, very happy. And so moving on, we have Daring Do and the Eternal Flower. Once again, we have that wonderful Daring Do inspired artwork on the cover with AK Yearling on the front as well. And then turning around to the back, we have Get Nothing Lasts Forever or Does It? And then a brief description of the book itself. And I just cannot wait. Each one of these with every paragraph gets more and more exciting. Will Daring Do follow the clues and find the secret to eternal life? 
And then opening the book up, we actually get yet another fantastic Daring Do artwork. And then some more title cards for the Eternal Flower. By AK Yearling and GM Burrow. And then we get the GM Burrow dedication page for Aaron, to whom I am eternally grateful. That is wonderful. I love those. And then moving on to the chapter section, we actually get 16 chapters in this book instead of 15, which is awesome. I love me, like I said, I love a good big chapter book. And so flipping through the pages, we actually notice a lot of the designs on the pages themselves actually look very daring do, very adventurous, very fun, and very enjoyable. I can't wait to crack this open and read every page. It looks so good. And then we actually get a little glossary section in this book de detailing all the characters and whatnot in the book itself. And that's about it for this book, so let's move on to the final book which is Daring Do and the Forbidden City of Clouds. And once again, we get that wonderful, very nice Daring Do cover that I love so much. I really hope they do more of these because they are wonderful quality-wise and detail-wise. And then on the back, if a treasure cannot be seen, does it even exist? And then another wonderful little paragraph on what all is inside the book. I can't wait to read this. It looks so good. Can the brave adventurer find the secret island in the air? Even if it means flying blind. Awesome. Just pure awesome. Let's open the book up and see what all we get. Yet another wonderful Daring Do artwork piece. I love these. And then more title cards for the Forbidden City of Clouds. And it just looks so awesome. Can't wait to read it. And then that dedication page to Lauren, who kept her heads in the clouds so our imaginations could take flight. Just awesome, just wonderful. And then we move on to the chapter section, which this book actually has 14 chapters in it. And I just, each one looks so good. Flipping through the book just, it looks like it's gonna be such a wonderful book. Again, we have those nice little adventure style little artwork pieces on the um, pages themselves. They just look so nice, I love them. It really gives off that daring do feel to it. And then on the back, we actually have a nice glossary section with AK Yearling and Daring Do and all that cool stuff. Just looks so good. Can't wait to read it. And so that's about it for the Daring Do collection. Honestly, I feel like at $45, especially with Christmas coming around, it is a wonderful buy. This is an instant buy for all bronies, or if you have brony relatives or anyone. Basically, if you love My Little Pony, I would highly, highly recommend you pick this up as a Christmas present because it is wonderful. I absolutely cannot wait to crack these open, especially if you have a young reader or just a reader in general. I would highly recommend this set. But anyway, guys, I'm Ultramag64. Remember, don't forget those Paris rights. And as always, happy gaming. I'll check you guys on the flip side. Bye. Oh, Bobby, nothing like a good let's play to get the blood pumping in the morning. Darn it, Bobby! <laughs> Stay on my shoulder, I swear we'll cut you. Ow! Why, hello, ladies. Look at my mass of figurines. Does this get your juices flowing? I think I'm gonna have to hold it like this. What do you think, Bobby? Probably also gonna need my scissors. Let me open it with my foot. And grab scissors with my foot. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh wait, kids aren't going to be watching this. No one's going to be watching this. I can't grab it with my foot! Up! Oh, Up! Oh. Aha! I have it now, I just have to precariously bring it to my face without cutting myself. Huzzah! Can't do that part. Ah! <laughs> I almost cut my groin, Bobby! Almost! Not today, though! This is a tedious process. 
Now I think it's facing the wrong way. So let me go through the motions here. It's glorious! You're at the, I'm facing the wrong way. I'm used to sitting over there. It's glorious, Bobby!